This was a historically, historically bad WWE SmackDown. <coughs> oh, be done. Be done. It's like the more better of a wrestler they are, the worse giving they get. It was really bad. Um, look at the photo. <laughs> he looks terrible. And he, he cut his hair and he. <laughs> Generic Mary Poppins cockney outfit from the Great Depression. Is, is McMahon even that old? Oh my gosh. Butch Reed, Butch Cassidy, and Sundance Kid. Butcher and the Blade. The Bruiser Wade and the Blade. Bruiser Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Br Bruiser, Bruiser Wade Reed. So just that. You just call it a whole topic of just that. Like, so they rename them. And it's terrible. And the fact that they got leaked by the dirt cheese made it even better in terms of how bad it was. I don't know if it was like, so I guess it was the top secret that this was the gimmick. It was terrible. It was the same day where like, Tony Khan, uh, Dharma Khan, the Khan did fire with the, this man gave him like a, some like a lousy two million dollar raise to like, Increased raise instead of 1.5 million last year, up to like 11 million dollar raise. Not sure about the stock options. I don't know why he got the raise. And like, the market's doing terrible now anyway. And watching this, I was thinking like, all of NXT UK is gonna leave or get released. Um. Tony Khan might, might as well buy it. Be, it probably wouldn't be a good idea because of what they did with Anthony and Gogo. Probably when they got rid of Cody. Um, and probably when they added Regal. And. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's for NXT? Um. So, we don't even get to the part where we talk about who he's feuding with. And you've probably already heard why this is a horrible thing. It was Big E and the New Day. And then Big, Big E gets his neck broken. And they talk about break... After, like, the whole Rich Holland, Cesaro... He's from Holland, like, in the Goldfinger thing. And he has the relic mask. And, uh, Butch, I guess we should call them, or the feud, and, like, talking about breaking Big E TV before that. So, breaking E, Big E, breaking Big E's neck. You can't make up the time of this stuff, and you're finding out about it. And, uh, fashion could be really good wrestling between Sheamus and, uh, not Rich Holland anymore. Uh, this is a shock mess. I, I feel so bad for Big E, like, he broke his neck, but, like, and this is really terrible to me, but, like, it just shows you how, how Murphy's Law, man, everything goes terrible. I like how they introduced him as terrible, too, like, it's like a backstage segment, it looks like there's, like, a fake small ring in there, it looks really terribly, oh, jeez. So he breaks his neck, and this is all before Mania. Where they can't even sign Cody Rhodes. It's two weeks before Mania. Cody Rhodes isn't signed yet. And it's supposed to start a program with Rollins, but never signed yet. He could go to like Supercard of Honor and screw up WWE. XT's, your K looks like a very bad place between, um, Gunther and, sorry, Walter and Pete Dunn. 
debuting. I don't think anyone wants to go to the WWE roster anymore after those two things. We'll see if they want to go to AEW. <laughs> this is really terrible. Or thoughts and subscribe.